and here we go. The one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to set SMART goals. And so SMART is an acronym. It stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time Bound. So I wanted to set goals for myself that fit these criteria in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So the first goal I plan on achieving in 2017 is to improve my physical health. So that means I need to get back in the gym or you know work out at home, go outside, eat better, but become more active and incorporate a healthier diet. Two years ago, I was on a weight loss journey and I lost about 70 pounds. And somewhere after that 70, I plateaued and I just was like, over it and I slowly but surely started to gain that weight back. So I'm sure all 70 of them are back. Hey cousins. Um, but the goal for 2017 is to lose weight again and to just be healthier. So I wanted to set an actual number to it. So I said that I wanted to lose like 40 pounds in a year. Now I'm setting a small goal because that way if 40 is all I lose, then great. But if I lose more than 40, then kudos to me. My second goal for 2017 is to improve my mental health. And with that comes a couple of things. So I grew up in church. I follow a Christian lifestyle, although I'm such a heathen. But I did grow up in a Christian church, and so I wanted to implement reading the Bible daily, taking notes. It's easy to just read a, a chapter or verse or whatever, but I want to read them, take notes, analyze what I'm saying, and use them in life later. Outside of just reading the Bible, I also want to attend church regularly. To add to that, I'm also going to be um, trying to meditate, taking some time out of my schedule to just breathe and to think about life. And I have an app, I have Headspace, I tried it, it's cool. But I also have like, I got an Apple Watch and throughout the day it'll like tap you and be like breathe for like one minute. So I'm gonna force it or I'm gonna program it to have me breathe for like 10 minutes at a time, 15 minutes at a time and use that as my meditation time. My third 2017 goal is to create better virtual content. And so I want to create better content here on YouTube. I want my videos to be just a bit more polished, a bit more, you know, sophisticated in the editing. And I also want to do topics that, that bring us together. So I want to build more community amongst myself and you all. And so that is why I need you all to tell me what topics you want to hear. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a spring chicken, y'all. I'm close to 30, so it's gotta be something that, you know, I wanna talk about. Goal number four, along the lines of creating better virtual content, is I want to create a hub site for myself, which is where literally on that site, you can see what I'm up to. It'll link you to all my social media. It'll link you to YouTube. So everything about Maryland is in one place, and then you can click on icons and videos and things like that and be moved to YouTube or moved to Instagram, you know, just to kind of streamline everything. My fifth goal, is to move into a new apartment. I've been in my current apartment for four years. The rent is cool, you know, I got a lot of space, but I was just like, over this place, I've outgrown it. I need something a little more fantabulous for myself and my sister, and I think I just deserve it. I've never actually lived in an apartment for more than like two years, and so four years, I was like, oh, I'm on my grown girl stuff, so I'm ready to go. My sixth goal, is to save money. And it's so funny how when you read things about what you're supposed to do in your 20s and in your 30s, and the top thing is to save money. But in this time in life, saving money is not the easiest thing. I'm not a spendthrift. I do like to buy stuff for myself. I like deals, I like bargains, I'm a couponer, okay? But it's hard to save money when literally my check goes to my rent, my car note, my utilities. And the YouTube checks are cool. And while they're not, you know, they're chump change, it's hard to save because expenses come up and stuff happens. When you get a little bit of money in the bank, it seems like everything breaks. 
Well, that's just my life. So I'm going to try to save some money this year and I'm starting out small. I just want to save $2,000, that's it. That's not hard. If I can save more, great. If I can only save 2,000, at least I saved 2,000. Okay. My seventh goal for 2017 is to go on a date. Uh, so I've never actually been on a real date. I've had boyfriends, obviously, and we would go out, you know, movies, restaurants, and stuff like that. But in the courting stage of us, like, talking, I never had nobody say, okay, no one ever said to me, hey, I want to take you out. Here's what I have planned. Just get dressed. Dress for this particular occasion. I'm going to come pick you up, and I'm going to take you somewhere. This might not work for me though because one, I don't really like people and two, I'm not going to find nobody online. Please watch my looking for a tenderoni video which I will link in the eye above because if if the way I'm going to find the man of my dreams is through a tender or a plenty of fish or something like that, girl going to be lonely. Real lonely. So, um, hopefully in real world life, you know, some beautiful black man will be like, baby girl, don't call me baby girl. Just be like, hey, I think you're cute, or I think you're beautiful, I think you're awesome, you seem about your ish, I wanna take you out. Can I take you out tonight? To the movies, to the park, I have you home before we start, so let me know. Can I take you out tonight? Don't care if I get ripped, okay. And then my eighth goal, eighth, is to travel. I want to go places. I have a travel bug and no money, and I want to go places. It's easy for me to get in my car and drive around. That's cool. I have a lot of great cities and states right around me, but I wanna go somewhere else. I'm hoping that being on YouTube and having this presence will make this happen for me, but I would really like to, to go somewhere. And Atlanta, no. Charlotte, no. Been there, done that. Canada would be great. Um, I could actually just drive there from Chicago. It would be a long drive, but I could do it. But I just want to travel. I want to experience cultures outside of what's in the US. You never know. I might decide to just up and leave the United States. Who knows? Those are my goals for the year. On a very pragmatic and basic level, I just want 2017 to be prosperous and I want to be abundantly blessed and I'm hoping the same for you. I want to be happy. I want to be stress free. I want to just be me and be me unapologetically. And I want people to gravitate toward me. I want to just continue to be a beacon of hope, of light, of sass, of hot messiness. And you know, people who love it, love it. People who hate it, that's fine. But I just really want to have a prosperous 2017. It's so funny, I was listening to the Friend Zone podcast on my drive back from Chicago to South Carolina on Friday. And I listened to several episodes, but the episode that really stood out was the episode where Hey Friend, Hey, Dustin and Asante had Crystal and Kid Fury from The Read come on and kind of just talk about 2016 and how things have changed and what they want to go into 2017 with. And we all know if you watch YouTube that Hey Friend, Hey is just a light. Okay, she is just a light. And she made this statement and it was just like, I had to like, in the middle of Indiana, I was like, girl, you can't. She said to everyone, she said, you know, we ask and we pray and we wish and we hope for all these things to happen to us, all these blessings. She said, but are you ready to actually receive your blessings? And I said, girl. And I was like, that's so real. Like we pray, we wish, we hope, we beg for things to happen to us. But when the opportunity is like literally in your face, People like shut down, people just become like, it, they can't do anything. And I'm just like, I don't want that to be me in 2017. So everything that I've prayed for, I am ready to accept them if it is meant for me to have them. And I understand that everything is not meant for me to have, but whatever is meant for me, I'm ready to receive it. So ask yourself, are you actually ready to receive everything that you're asking and praying for. Because if you're not, what's the point? I wish I had a microphone so I could just drop it. Those are my 2017 goals. 
please make sure to leave some comments. Tell me what your 2017 goals are. Tell me what you're doing to get those goals to come true. It's not about if your goal will happen. It's when the goal happens, okay? That's how we have to think about things. We have to know that there's absolutely nothing stopping us but ourselves. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. From the bottom of my heart, whoever's watching this video, you are an awesome person and your 2017 is about to be lit. Raindrop, drop, drop top, drop top, smoking no cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grit the trick, nobody.